Hello, RCAP. We are Team All F4. My name is Fitzan, and this is my teammate, Josiah. We study in Anderson Secondary School and go to the Robotics Club in our school. This is our second time participating in RCAP Tianjin. We also participated in last year's RCAP Tianjin 2021, RoboCup Singapore 2021, and RCAP IG 2021. This is the exclusive summary of the preliminary challenge. We participated in Cold Space Rescue Under-19 Challenge. The main objective of the game is to collect and deposit as many objects as possible within the time limit to gain as many points as possible. We added code to ensure that our robot will be able to deposit reliably as soon as it has six loaded objects by utilizing the X and Y coordinates and try to implement zoning. We managed to score 1,520 points in the preliminary round. We found the preliminary challenge map to be manageable despite our robot having difficulty in finding at least one object from each color before depositing, resulting in fewer super plus objects created. Now we will be discussing how to use the X and Y coordinates to climb track into position. We use this in the preliminary round as our robot would sometimes be unable to turn into position without getting lost. Whenever the robot reaches a certain X or Y coordinate, it will turn right. However, when it turned right, it would displace the robot out of the imaginary line we had set, hence forcing it to turn left. Eventually, it will cause the robot to move in a straight line, for example, straight down. While this code was a bit time-consuming to execute, it was very good for recoveries and ensures that the robot is able to get back into position even after turning away. This is the most exciting part of our game. As you can see, after exiting the swamp, the robot entered the double point zone and picked up a cyan object and then proceeded to pick up another one. After exiting the double point zone, the robot bounced off the left, bottom, and then right border of the map and picked up a black object, after which it proceeded to deposit the three objects. After depositing, the robot then headed back into the double point zone and picked up a cyan object and bounced off the borders again. This time, it went towards the center obstacle at the middle of the map and turned left, picking up a black object. After that, the robot went towards a border turned the way back to the center of the map and picked up another two objects. At this point, with a few seconds left, we thought that the run was over. However, the robot went towards the center obstacle again and stopped. We thought that the robot had gotten stuck on the wall, but after a few more seconds, we realized that the robot had came in clutch and picked up a super object, giving us an additional 90 points. Now, let's watch a video on a firefighting robot. As you can see in the video, the robot is being maneuvered through a building via remote control to put out a fire. To make this more efficient, Ultrasonic sensors could be added to the front of the board, just like our Cold Space Rescue board, so that when the robot encounters walls, it can turn away automatically without the need of a human controlling it. This will save the robot time and allow it to maneuver through tight spaces easier. Another way we can implement the code from our Cold Space Rescue board is that we can implement our pathfinding to ensure that the robot is able to get to the scene of the fire as soon as possible. This would hence increase its efficiency and allow the robot to put out the fire more quickly. Thank you for listening to our presentation and we hope you have a nice day. Goodbye!